Welcome back to Peak Speaks, the podcast of SFU's independent student newspaper. Uh, my name is Marcus. I'm the multimedia editor. My name is Calvin. I'm the assistant multimedia editor. And we're back in 2020. It's the first episode since summer 2019, and we got a very special guest today. His name is Marco. Yes, I'm very special. Thank you. <laughs> And the first question I have right here is, who is Marco? <laughs> so, you know what, that's like, that's, there's a lot of layers to that question. I don't know how deep you want me to go here. <laughs> <laughs> pretty deep. Pretty deep, pretty deep. It all started when I was a child. Um, no, um, I'm, yeah, I'm Marco. I'm the arts editor at The Peak. Um, I edit the arts section. And that's what I do. Yeah, that's who I am. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, yeah. that, that answered the second question. Oh, well. okay. <laughs> okay, well, let's move on to the more interesting one, which is what is your origin story? My origin story? <laughs> Dang. Um, yeah, that's a good question. I wish I really knew the answer to myself. Um, I grew up in Surrey, B.C. Um, yeah, for all my life, I still live there in my parents' basement. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. I went to a private elementary school, which Same. was, yeah, you do, yeah. <laughs> which you must know is pretty, like, yeah, it wasn't the best, I yeah, guess. Okay. But, yeah, and I went to school with the same 30 kids pretty much for, like, the first seven years of my life. And then I went to a public high school, and there were, like, 1,500 different kids at that school. And it was just, yeah, no, it was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, and now I'm at SFU. I'm an English major, by the way. Should I be looking at the camera? Uh, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter? Okay, yeah. This is the um, first time we filmed it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm an English major at SFU. Um, I thought about going to computer sciences, but I love myself, so I didn't go into computer sciences. Um, but yeah, I study English, read books and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the last thing you read? Oh, man. Is it bad that I don't remember? No, that's fine. Does that mean you read a lot? Or it... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it means I haven't done my class readings in a while. Oh. That's what that means. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably some old English thing. Yeah. Hmm. Right on. Maybe I'm not the best English major, but... <laughs> you can read at least. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm not sure about that one either. <laughs> well, uh... The next question I have here is, how did you get here? How did I get here? Yeah, I don't know what here means. It could be in <laughs> you this wrote room. the questions, mean, come on. I know, I kept it, I kept it ambiguous, you so kept it, it very open-ended. It could mean this um, room. <laughs> well, yeah, I transited up the mountain today in the snow. That was not the best of times. Yeah. Um, I was 100% convinced like the buses were not going to run today. But I was a little bit excited, too, because I wouldn't have to work today, you know. I could have prepped for this podcast a bit more, you know. There just would have been so much more time to do things. Somehow managed to get here on time. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. I know. I got here early, and I was like, how did this happen? (laughs) Um, Yeah, how did you guys get here? I'm going to flip it on you. I, I had to drive. I was like, should I take the bus? I woke up early, earlier than normal, so I had time to, like, figure it out. And then it was like... I had to shovel the driveway in the lane because I was like, there's nothing. <laughs> it's like, that's just going to have to happen at some point, so I'll just do it now. And I was like, okay, I, if I can get my car out of the lane, it has, like, so decent-ish snow tires. <laughs> and I just checked, like, the webcams up here, and it looked really good, the roads. So then I was like, okay, I'm just going to get out of my lane, <laughs> and I should be fine. And then it was like, almost didn't get out of my lane. <laughs> but then I did, and it was like, okay, smooth sailing after that. Man, I'm driving a 1991 Honda Accord. Yeah. I don't even have an airbag, so I don't think I would have made it. I like, no joke, my car. Oh Oh is older than airbags so <laughs> we got three ashtrays no airbags no air conditioning which is okay th- yeah. this time of year i guess i mean that's a classic is is it in, yeah. three, ashtrays? You, three ashtrays three you know yeah. ashtrays ashtray because it was like never used i put like my membership cards in there and they fit perfectly and you just pull it out that's and they're like they're like so right there. smart yeah <laughs> well, I, I learned something today. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to learn anything today, and I did. Um, yeah. The most brutal part, though, is I don't even have any cup holders. And so for my 19th oh, yeah. birthday, my parents, the only gift they got me 
was it's this plastic insert for my car. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can like slide it in between the seats. So I finally have cup holders. Fantastic. Yeah, it was a great gift. Wow. Yeah, That's piece awesome. of plastic. What about you, Calvin? Oh. How was your drive up? Um, <laughs> the, actually, the most interesting part was it wasn't when I got in the car or was cleaning it to get out of the driveway. It was when I woke up. When I woke up, my dad just got in from, I guess, driving my mom to work. Yeah. So he was like, where's the car? I'm like, didn't I park it out front? Right? It's like, <laughs> I didn't see it. So I walk outside. My car's just covered in snow. <gasps> you can't tell it. Out. <laughs> so yeah, oh I had to gosh. like shovel it out and like scrape all the windshields. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even bother. I just took the bus. <laughs> so I saw my car. I'm like, no, not going to happen. Yeah, I don't know. I took the SkyTrain like a few days ago and... I mean, it, it was it was good. It's it's like <laughs> twice as fast, but sometimes sometimes it's just a bit nicer. Have they gotten faster the sky trains? They haven't oh, gotten okay. faster, but I did a speedometer test on this train <laughs> <laughs> just to see how much time I was saving <laughs> between like driving or sky train. Really, you save that much time? Um, well, I mean, Google Maps says it takes twenty minutes when my car would take forty, so. I hate you. It yeah. took me an hour and a half to get here this morning. <laughs> oh no no no! I mean like from. The place I parked. Oh, to, like, yeah. okay, okay. I feel a bit better about myself yeah, now. No. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not that close. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was a. <laughs> that was a tangent. That's that what you were tangent. talking That's about. Talking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now we're gonna go back uh, to the t- to the main topic. <laughs> okay, the main topic. I forgot what the question was already. <laughs> uh, well, that one was, how did you get here? <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, but how did you get to this room? <laughs> Man, honestly, I don't know. I didn't even know this place existed until you took yeah. me there and you pointed at the neon sign glowing. Yeah. Even though you were supposed to write a story. I was it. supposed to. Yeah, they never got back to me. Should yeah. I be trash talk? I guess we can. I don't know. Should I be? <laughs> I don't know who was Probably in charge not. of that. But Just get banned. Like, <laughs> first week. Never get banned. We were trying to write that article for the whole semester, four months, and yeah. every week, oh, can we postpone? Yeah, I know, right? And I, I, and I wanted semester. to get this podcast started, yeah. but it was yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, it just kept getting delayed. But now we're here, and it's good. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah sound no, effects. It's so, it's so good. We haven't oh, used those yet. So cool. Ooh, we should use the sound effect. Give us a sound effect. Which one is a good one? I don't know. I mean, you know, you know which one I want to do. Oh. I don't know which one it is, copyright though. Right, I, so. It's right here. I know I know exactly which ones are where. <laughs> <laughs> which one? This one? Yeah. But it, it takes a while. Like, oh, we, oh we the suspense is killing me. Yeah. Or is it playing? And we no, just don't know? Oh. The <laughs> <laughs> it goes for so long. Yeah. Is this you guys playing? No, no, no. You're very talented. No, yeah, we, we, <laughs> yeah, we just took some recorders in here last week. <laughs> yeah, we should bring musical instruments. We could do the the, stu- the peak. Oh, we could do that any here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they'll sound like that. I, I, hope, I hope not. <laughs> it sounds like that's not running, so. Nice. Thank you. Well, that one's like way quieter than. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we know which one's important. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, the next question is uh, how, why is your face all over the peak office? You know what? <laughs> I. <laughs> this was a while that, ago. That, this was a while ago, and it was just something stupid. That I did. Gab took a photo of me. Gab, our e- would people know she's the EIC? Who could, she's the EIC. Um, yeah, she took a photo of me. And I was like, hey, you should print one out, and I'll like autograph it for you. And it's not a good photo of me. Um, it's <laughs> it's probably the worst photo of me I've seen in a long time. Um, and yeah, she printed one out. I'm like, print out like 30, and I'll hand them around the office. And I didn't think she would, because I thought she wanted to save like ink, you know, paper, yeah. we have like supplies. I don't know how the peak runs. Do we even yeah. have money? Yeah. I get Nobody paid. knows about the budget. I don't know Except where we her. get the money <laughs> She'll from. know about the budget. She's like, oh, we got some extra. Let's just. <laughs> and so she printed out like 30 of my face, and then she's like, okay, you said you were going to autograph them. Autograph them. And she's our boss so I was like okay <laughs> yes ma'am yeah. I autographed them she's like go hand them out in the office 
I was like, I really don't want to. I was just my first, like, week as a staff writer or yeah. something like that. I didn't know any of you guys. The production pit's, like, scary to me. Salome has a knife. <laughs> like, I don't know what he's going to do. Uh, and so, yeah, I went around and I handed out my face. And I came in the next week and they're everywhere in the office. There's, like, a tree of me, which is cool. I think we decorated it for Christmas, which was kind of neat. Um, and yeah, they're just, they're everywhere. And that was the start of just an awful time. <laughs> Marco Mania? Marco Mania. You know what? Marco Mania TM. I'm going to copyright that right now. <laughs> We're still in it. <laughs> I think that was a good like icebreaker, though, because everyone knew who you were then right away. Yeah, but <laughs> some, of the, some of the staff writers, we don't see that often. And, but we definitely saw you. Yeah, because I'm just loud. And I, yeah, I literally <laughs> handed my face out to everyone. You have to see me anywhere you look. Fridge, I'm right there. Like, it's just, yeah. yeah. I put one of your pictures, like, among the peak awards on the wall in the kitchen. I didn't even see that. Someone took it down. Oh. It was just like, there was all the awards, and then there was a sideways picture that you took. <laughs> Not awards. even the right way sideways. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do consider myself a peak award so that does make sense to me <laughs> you know so thank you yeah. thank you for that you should that. change the peakies to like the marquees the marquees <laughs> <laughs> the mar- <laughs> that's, that's the end game you know I'm trying to take over <laughs> as quickly as possible yeah it's happening next step editor in chief we'll see you know <laughs> editor in chief 2020 you can run for it <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that started that started that stupid um stupid article that I made as a yeah. joke with my face on the cover of it. Yeah, I know that was... That was fantastic. Was it? Yeah. I pitched it I pitched it as a joke. I didn't think it was going to even run. We are a serious publication. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I've learned in my last semester with you guys, we are not a serious publication. I didn't even know it was going to go on cover until I took the photos with um, Chris. Yeah, you're like, where are these he's for? like, oh. <laughs> no, he's like, oh, do you have, like, an 11th outfit for the cover photo? <laughs> I'm like, no, this isn't going on cover. And he's like, yeah, it is. And I was like, yeah, it's going on cover. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And that was the only issue that ran for two weeks. Because yeah. I remember in stay, we didn't run a remember stay issue. So it was on the stands for even longer than it needed to be. It wasn't long enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was plenty long, but you know what? I it was weird walking around campus. I actually got recognized at my work for <laughs> oh that piece. Yeah, some guy came in, and I work at Starbucks and um in Surrey. <laughs> I'm not gonna say exactly which one, so my fans don't you know bombard me. Surrey Central. Um, I'm mm, I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you. Uh, <laughs> leave some sort of mystery. Gotta find you. Um, yeah, one of my fans did find me, not intentionally, but this guy came in and he's like, "Are you the guy from the the Peak newspaper?" That's and I'm awesome. like, "Yeah, who are you?" <laughs> <laughs> and he had like a copy with him, and he showed me. I was like, "Okay, buddy." Wow. <laughs> did you did you sign it? No, I did not. Yeah. No, I didn't know. <laughs> I felt a Just, little bit creeped out at the time. I'm like, oh, I didn't think like people would approach me. I don't know. <laughs> it's true. We have readers. Yeah. <laughs> like that's someone who like look at this magazine or magazines, the newspaper. I don't know what I write for. I just write. Um, yeah. <laughs> And then it was awful. I had to keep cleaning, like, the cafe. And he sat there for, like, hours. And any time I would go in the cafe, he's like, hey, it's the newspaper guy. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Oh, he really loves the paper. <laughs> oh, oh and I haven't seen him since, so thank goodness. No, I yeah. shouldn't say that. <laughs> if you're, oh, no, if you're like, you watch, quit that day. <laughs> and I, they haven't seen me there since. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. No, if you're listening... Peak newspaper guy, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. he's probably our only listener. I, I really I don't. don't. We'll I see. don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it's happens. Hard to say what the listens are going to be like. I don't know. I didn't even know we had a podcast until I was on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> same. <laughs> yeah, I just remember walking in either the first or second week, and I was just given a picture of this guy with a signature, and I'm like, oh shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's a big deal. This guy's, yeah, this, this guy's big. 
Uh, I'm, I'm really afraid of it. Yeah. Oh, you really should. Yeah. Like, get it, get I would have, but mine is all, like, mine was, like, uh, wrecked, the one that I have on my computer. But didn't you... Oh, I didn't. didn't I didn't color it. I didn't deface mine. Someone uh, else did that. I, I don't know. I was actually quite upset the first the week blackout? I came. Yeah, the blackout wasn't me. Oh, I was really offended. I'm like, I'm just trying to make yeah. friends here, and I come in next week, and you guys like yes. deface my face. I had it all good, and then someone came in and put Sharpie all over my picture yeah. at Marco, and it was. I noticed that. Like, there's a couple of them that are like. Vandalized. Someone's, someone's yeah. not a fan. Someone's not. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify, who is your uh, the entire silhouette of Marco is blacked out on this one photo. Yeah. Uh, so it's just a silhouette. <laughs> Wait, then are my eyes like green or red or something? Orange? Orange, Orange? triangles, I think. I, well, I started I started turning it into like a craft project. I put like eye, eyeballs and mouth and Yeah, I saw it. There's like it. another thing. You guys were cutting out something last yeah. week. And I thought it was for like a piece, but it's just <laughs> <No>. on. <laughs> it was like oh, yeah, during the did. meeting too, and I look over and you're just like cutting. I'm like, oh, he's like hard at work. I'm not gonna bug him. And I look over, it's like afterwards, and you're just stick right on the picture. I'm like, okay. Multi section hard at work. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Who's who do you think uh, defaced that photo? You got an arch nemesis out there. <laughs> uh, you gotta figure not, out this mystery. I'm not sure. It, I mean. It could be Gab. I am out for her job, you know? <laughs> like, I am trying to take over this publication. Yeah. So it would make sense that she feels threatened by me. I would also feel threatened by me. I am, like... Yeah. You could turn this into, like, a marketing campaign for your running for IEC. Like, <laughs> really easy. Honestly, I don't even know if I want IEC. I keep talking about, like, I'm going to take over this newspaper. I'm really happy as an arts editor. Yeah. <laughs> we start seeing defaced Marco images across campus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I would be flattered that someone like cares enough about me to hate me. Like, <laughs> I think I take yeah. it as a compliment. Like, I'm that important. Wow. Just taking it in stride, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, Marco, he's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at his hair. <laughs> Well, that answered, like, the next question, too, why you were on the cover. So the one after that is how did you pull this off? <laughs> I don't know. You, well, we kind of touched on that already. Yeah, I did. I did write a follow-up piece, <clears throat> which was my last piece I ever wrote until this semester, so not really. Um, yeah, I don't know how I pulled it off. Honestly, like, it was genuinely a stupid pitch that I didn't even know I pitched. It was more of a joke. And then Zach, the humor editor, came, and he's like, hey, so when are you going to write this piece? And I'm like, hmm, I don't think I was going to write this piece. Um, and, yeah, all of a sudden I was writing it, and then I didn't think my face was going to go in. I, I was still, like, a joke to me. He's like, oh, let's get, like, make sure to bring different outfits, you know, like, let's make sure you're in it. And then, oh, am I quiet? I don't know, it might be. I just, it's better to just point it at you. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I should yeah. talk into a microphone. But it looks like we're getting sound waves, so I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Zach came up to me. He's like, okay, let's get the photos done. And I came in with all my outfits. And probably the worst part about doing that photo op was that, I mean, the peak office doesn't have a bathroom. And so to go get changed, I had to go like down the hall past the library <laughs> into the bathroom. Yeah. And so for like 30 minutes, yeah. there was this, um, there's a room beside, like with the glass wall that you walk yeah. past. Yeah. What is that? Like on the way to the food court, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's like, it's like student center, like student help something. Um, but yeah, there's this one girl that was there, I remember, and she was like sitting at the desk and I made eye contact with her every single time I came out with a new outfit. <laughs> oh, just the one on the wrap? No, the place by the wrap. Yeah, so yeah, the place by the wrap, okay. yeah. And, yeah, I felt really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Project Runway or something. <laughs> yeah. She was probably thinking, like, what is this guy doing? He's walking, he keeps changing every, like, three yeah. minutes. It's all part of your marketing campaign. <laughs> it is. Marco Obies for EIC 2020. Yeah. You'll never see him in the same outfit twice. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you guys need to help me come up with, like, a campaign slogan. Like, what should I... He's not ready. <laughs> He's not ready. No! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> no, I love oh. the photo. I would never deface that photo. Mm -hmm. 
I don't Actually, know, you're on my suspect list now. So. <laughs> it's like, I've never turned on my computer. It's just your picture. <laughs> Actually, I remember, and I was there. <laughs> I know who defaced it. Really? Yeah, I do. It wasn't me. <laughs> but you're just not going to tell us? Well, I was I waiting know. for you to say the name. Should I? I mean, what's in it for you? What are they paying you this to is like, just keep gonna, it a like, secret? Ruin their reputation on this podcast. Yeah. You can feature them as your next guest. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do it? <laughs> Shake down. Just... Oh my goodness. I forgot her name. Oh, okay. She... Oh, I know who it is. Oh, I, I forgot. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> I came on this podcast for answers, and I'm not getting any, so. <laughs> well, maybe we'll get her on next time, and we'll just not say anything about it, but well, you'll know. Cause I'll like, know, because she's on <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I got one more question only. Okay. okay. And it's, what's next for Marco in 2020? You know what? I'm just, I'm leaving. you know, what happens, happens. You know, I'm going to try and take over the newspaper. I don't know if we should edit that out, you know, but <laughs> I think it's the next good. step is to change the title of something yeah. to my name. I don't know if changing the title of the peak to the Marco is too ambitious. I'm thinking maybe changing the art section title into the Marco section and having the whole section about me. There is an April Fool's issue coming out. I think that's a very big possibility that you could do oh, that. Oh, the spoof issue. Yeah. It's just all about me. Yeah. The whole sex. <laughs> Maybe. The whole paper. <laughs> I don't know. We don't work on newspapers. I can yeah. say. <laughs> That's a whole other world to us. Yeah. Marco Arts. Marts. Mart. <laughs> K Mart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I feel like I need to put myself. Somewhere, because I mean, I'm the center of the universe, so I need to put myself somewhere mm-hmm. in this paper again, you know. Of course, yeah. So I gotta step up, <laughs> step up from last semester, you know. People don't forget who I am, Marco for EIC 2020. Maybe like, be on the cover again and have like a double page spread. Oh, double page spread. Like yeah, you're right. I only photos. got, I only got the yeah. one page spread. <laughs> You just end up like paying for an advertisement. Yeah. <laughs> I could buy an. <laughs> ask ask Gab how much it is to get. Oh, a do you guys you ad. guys don't know how much ads cost? No idea. <sighs> I really want to do that. I feel like it's gonna be really expensive. It's like all your pages. Yeah. <laughs> like, just stop paying me. I just want to be. I just want to. I ad. want an ad. Like, <laughs> what would I even say? What would I well, advertise? Then you could just make it look like a Marco section. Like, what you could do whatever you wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a full page ad. Yeah, and it's then just be... make it look like a regular. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she'd let me? I I hope so. If you got the money, I'm telling Anything you right now, possible. I don't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're always down for full page ads. It seems like because I think they pay a lot of money. Yeah. Like, I think <laughs> it's at least a hundred bucks, right? Like, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I mean, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even read the paper for like six months. <laughs> Except for your articles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, that's what they all say. <laughs> I just realized I didn't read the issue for this week. I just looked at my section and I was like, well, I did a good job. And then I didn't look at anyone else's section. That's what the meeting's for. What were you in the meeting? Yeah, no, but I need to have like read the section before the meeting, I you thought. Don't. Been, I've been here a year. I don't, <laughs> yeah, but you don't, <laughs> don't you leave right after before we do the post more? Uh, some, I used to, not lately. Well, last 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 term, I didn't even go to any meetings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, classic. I'm out of questions. You have any questions for Marco? Does Marco have any questions for Marco? No, I'm an open book. I don't know what to. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Just, what are you guys looking forward to doing? Oh, are you going to just cut it here? <laughs> no, we'll leave the silence in. <laughs> just, <laughs> you can add in that groovy recorder music oh, into yeah. the silence if you want. Another intermission. Another intermission. It's a ten minute, <laughs> ten minute segment. People, it's like <laughs> so tired after that. So when do we get sponsored for like? I don't know. Doing I'm waiting, ads for, and I'm stuff. waiting for like Blue Apron or something. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like we should just start putting the ads in and then <laughs> waiting for them to pay us without them asking us to do ads. Yeah. We'll get the sound clip from another podcast. <laughs> just, <Yeah. laughs> just copy paste. Is that how audio works? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are you enjoying any shows this year? I just finished The Mandalorian. What's, um, what's that? It's the new Star Wars show on Disney+. Plus. Oh. Have you guys watched it? I don't have Disney. Me neither. <laughs> baby Yoda, baby Yoda, baby Yoda, baby Yoda. Yeah. sweet baby Yoda. Oh, is that what that's called? Yeah. Oh, they should have just called the show Baby Yoda. Okay. They would have got way more viewers. Yeah. Dude, they would have gotten way more money. I feel so bad for them though. Like Disney Plus lost so many subscribers after that show ended because no one was watching for anything else except The Mandalorian. Yeah, but, but like Disney movies. Or- I, I mean, I guess there's still some people, but, like, yeah. their viewership and just their subscriptions just went downhill. Oh, man. So. Well, it's like, I'm not super interested until the Obi-Wan show, which is, like, probably, like, a year away still, so. Yeah, I don't think they have anything super cool coming they got out. a live-action Lady in the Trap movie. Ooh, <laughs> woo, dogs, <laughs> <Subscribe>. yeah. <laughs> that worked so well the first time, right? Like, cats. <laughs> Remember did that? Did you guys see cats? I did not see I cats, wanna see no. It. I want to see it just for the meme, but like... Did you watch it? No, I haven't either. I'm scared. <laughs> we should go watch it. Yeah. Right now? Let's, let's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cut the do... podcast. We're going to... <laughs> yeah. That could be the podcast next week's episode. Back after we watch Cats. I'm sure we'd have 30 minutes of content to say about that. <laughs> or, or we could just perform all the musical numbers <laughs> from Cats. You guys are singers, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, everyone who's seen it, they're always like, it's so bad. So I don't know yeah. if I want to waste my money, but also I'm, I'm so kind of down to waste my money. Yeah. So yeah, that should be on the cover of the peak. <laughs> Mark reviews cats. <laughs> <laughs> you put cats I've actually and yourself seen on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I've read about it a lot. <laughs> I've, I've been on Twitter and they don't like it. So I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. I've seen people on Twitter started like, uh, getting photoshopped to look like cats characters like so there's some people out there that are really good at photoshop and they've what are they called like jellical cats is that what i don't know but just the photoshop skills involved are so intensive but <laughs> it looks so good but so scary at the same time wait they're like actually a good quality yeah, like they take like some like uh there was just the youtuber i saw and then uh so one of her fans like photoshopped her, a picture of her into a cat character it was like <laughs> so disturbing <laughs> that's what i want in multimedia can you guys do that like yeah. that's what i want on the cover <laughs> we'll look at me that. as a yeah. jellico yeah. cat <laughs> just we don't even need an article related to it we'll just, yeah. flip. <laughs> we'll just flip through it's all just pictures of me as a jellico cat that's yeah. That's what I want for 2020. Just give it to Gavin and be like, we spent a whole week on this picture. So <laughs> please just put it in the paper. Different types of cats in different outfits. <laughs> that could be our like spoof issue that it's just a normal paper, except all the pictures of people are photoshopped into Jellicle cats. Yeah, yeah for the spoof issue, we usually vote on the theme. Oh, so okay. that, that is <laughs> cats, <laughs> cats theme. <laughs> Very possible. What was the theme last year? Uh... Hard to remember. No, it was Ikea. Ikea themed. Oh. It looked like an Ikea catalog. It was pretty crazy. Damn. Yeah. And I think, like, the year before that, or two years before that, was National Geographic. But cat's theme. You should put that in the running this time. (laughs) I I don't know if I want to write that. (laughs) I don't know if Proto would want to do that. (laughs) Oh, they'd be fine. They'd be fine. It's okay. (laughs) Traumatize them so much. It's probably not a good movie. But but I want to see it anyways. Yeah, yeah I mean... No, I'm not saying I don't want to see it. I'm oh, okay, saying, yeah. It's probably, not, <laughs> yeah. it's probably not good. Yeah. Have you guys seen any other good movies lately? Mm, not movies so much, but like Netflix. Like, there's this new show, The Witcher. Oh, how's that? I honestly, I thought it was going to be like Games of Thrones because like, you know, the mm. silver hair and <laughs> it's like... Har- it's way more hardcore. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, it's like, hardcore in a different way because like they just gloss over so much lore in The Witcher show. Yeah, <laughs> You're just it like, feels like What that, are they talking yeah. about? <laughs> and like the language is different too. Like, um, like there's this sidekick that's always like fucking up and making jokes with the guy and he's like, you have an image problem. But like yeah. this is like medieval, like, <laughs> like nineteen, like you know, like very ancient times. Yeah. So I'm like, what the hell is like, going on? Yeah, yeah. 
I know I have not played or watched or read The Witcher. I think it's a book series too, right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I was I was at the bookstore and like the first like three books were completely empty. There's a huge hole on the shelf at like <laughs> chapters. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, I guess I'm not reading that. <laughs> it sold out on Amazon too, pretty much. Oh dang! When I checked. It was like pretty, yeah, huge, huge uh, boost in sales from that show. Are you a big fan? I played the game, Witcher Three, but and I'm like on episode four of the show, but I'm just watching it really slowly. Is it the game good? Yeah. Witcher 3 came out, like, 2016. It was, like, game of the year for a lot of oh, dang. Uh, outlets. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> it's a pretty good game. <laughs> it's too hardcore for me. Like, I'm very Nintendo. It took me, like, like three years to finish <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> the game I really want to play is Skyrim, but I'm also, like, too scared. Because yeah. oh. do you guys play? Yeah, play Skyrim's yeah. scary. Is it? <laughs> Even the previous multimedia editor, Melissa... Yeah. Spiders, man. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Skyrim is very time consuming as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then the dragons, like, standing on top of the side of a mountain with this, like, big black thing, like, flying around and, like, about to blow you up. Yeah. Yeah, it stresses me out. I got stressed playing um, Splatoon 2 on the <laughs> Nintendo Switch. <laughs> like, some of those kids are, like, half my age. And so much better than me. <laughs> That's how I feel. I don't want to like get into that field, you know, like with those kids. Yeah. Just gonna Is there voice me. chat on there? Can you tell that they're <laughs> kids? Maybe. They're... I'm, I'm just assuming because like yeah. I think it is a kids game. Yeah. So, which says a lot that I'm playing it. But <laughs> yeah, what I did do is I'm, I went to laser tag for my birthday probably a month ago. And that, we destroyed some kids there. That felt good. Yeah. So it made up for all the losses on Splatoon. (laughs) 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 I felt so bad, though, because there was, like, it was me and, like, eight of my friends. We're all, like, 20-something. I guess, like, (laughs) these 10-year-olds, like, half our height. Is that how tall 10-year-olds are? Like, I don't remember how tall they were. Yeah. If we're like twenty something and they're ten, it's half, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> math checks out. There's yeah. a perfect, perfect. <laughs> Somewhere a biology major yeah. is just like dying. <laughs> one to one relationship between height <laughs> and age. <laughs> okay, should we just wrap it up there? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. You guys got what you wanted. Yeah. 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 We, yeah. Well, they, it was great having you on. It's been a very revealing experience. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm very excited to be your first guest. Yeah. I hope that that, that one guy from Starbucks is excited too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel bad because I feel like I should know his name, and now I'm really worried that I talked about it. <laughs> He's call, just call him that. the newspaper guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. It just It'll be like a running joke. Yeah. Except we're talking about it now. <laughs> so he'll know. Yeah. I heard you talking about me on the yeah. podcast. He's <laughs> getting beat up. He's waiting outside. Yeah. Well, there he is. <laughs> yeah. It was Salome this whole time. It was. <laughs> he's, he's actually standing outside the window right now with a knife. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for listening. If you're listening this far into the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you're here, but <laughs> thank yeah. you. Um. It's been a pleasure. Bye.